Hello and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today we're going to be drawing this lovely little hedgehog here. So get yourself some plain white paper. You will need a pencil and a razor and that's it. And remember, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off with some basic shapes. So we're going to do like a semicircle, but it's a bit wonky. So I'll show you what I mean. Something like that. Now we're just going to draw a line going across. So if you just follow what I'm doing, I go up a little bit, then I come down, just like that. And if you find that I'm going too quickly, please hit pause and rewind. Now we're just going to do the little nose, little circle down here, little eye here. And then we're going to draw a line coming down and it's going to carry on here to there. Going to draw a little ear shape here, like that. And we're going to draw two little stick legs. So one, two. And that's the first part. All right, now we're going to add some more detail. So get your razor ready because we're going to be erasing as we go along. So rub out the little nose area because we're going to do that in more detail. So it's got a cute little button nose at the end for foraging food. There we go. I'm going to put little nostrils there. Bring it up. And then it's going to come up like so. Okay. Now using very light strokes with your pencil, I'm just going to show where the top of the head goes. Okay. Now we're going to do the eye in a bit more detail. So if you draw an oval shape like this, and remember to leave a little glint at the top in white, like that, we're going to color it in. And then we're just going to add a little pointy bit at the top, pointy bit at the bottom, just a line going round both, just like this, just like so. Okay, next to do is the ear. So let's just erase what we've done so far. And really simply, just an ear like this. Okay, now we're just going to carry on down here, all the way down to here. We're now going to erase this line just enough so that we can still see it but not too much that it doesn't interfere with our drawing. And the same with this bottom line. Okay, so using very light, wispy kind of line with your pencil, just draw where the softer fur is. These aren't spikes, this is just soft little fur down here. And this fur, nice furry bit comes to about here as well. So we can show that it's much softer by the kind of pencil lines that we're drawing now. So keep them light and feathery. And then we're going to do lots and lots. We're going to cover the whole entire face area. So I'm just going to speed this up for you. Okay, so now we're going to draw all the spiky parts. So just erase this line again, just enough so that you can see where it is, but not so much that it interferes with our drawing. Okay, so these you can press a little bit harder because they're gonna be more spiky. They're not those soft little lines that we were drawing. So 
quite hard, these kind of like more jagged lines. Going all the way around, following that line that we can very faintly still see. Comes all the way down here. Just like this. And we're just going to carry on. These go all the way across the back. So again, I'm going to speed up the process. If you've noticed, I'm doing all of these spikes in the same direction of the back, so they're all kind of slanted this way. So we're just coming to the end here. Okay, now we're just going to draw the two little feet at the front in shadow because the rest are covered up by this um, fur in the back. So just two little feet, just one there. So you can see the little toenail. And then the other one here. And then we're just going to shade them in. Can't see them in any detail. Okay. So before we carry on, we're just going to shade underneath the hedgehog. Just to make the drawing come to life and put it into some kind of context. Okay, now we're going to go over the drawing in a darker pencil. You can use the same one and just press more heavily. I'm now using a 6B. So I'm just going to add a bit more detail, just pressing harder with the pencil. I'm gonna make it much darker here around the nose and the eye area. Also, the ear is very dark on the inside here. There we go. Just adding some more darker patches in between the fur. Of course, the underside is very dark, so we'll just carry on doing this. make the shadow a little bit darker underneath. If you want to blend this, it's a good idea as well. Okay, now for the spikes. The tips of the spikes are white, so I'm just going to draw some dark parts just at the roots of the spikes. I'm not being very accurate here, so I'm just kind of drawing lots of thick black lines. And I'm pressing a bit harder here at the bottom where it's a little bit darker. And 
and I'm just going to draw a little flower over here. Just to finish up our drawing. So here's our finished lovely little hedgehog. Well done on completing the tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, hit subscribe and like, and I do hope to see you on the next one. And if you like drawing garden animals, don't forget to watch my How to Draw a Squirrel, which you'll find just here. Click on the link now.